Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to simplify this expression. Now, I know it looks like a huge expression to you, but that's why I'm here to help you out and uh, kind of work through some ways for us to manage all of this mess. So the first thing I want to do is I want to remind you of a couple properties of exponents that we're going to use to hopefully try to make this a little bit easier on you. So the first thing we need to look at is negative exponents. I see that I have a negative exponent here and a negative exponent there. So we need to understand how our negative exponents going to affect our problem. Well, the first one is if I have x to the negative n, that is the same thing as x or 1 over x to the n. And 1 over x to the negative n is equal to x to the n power. The other thing I notice is I have multiplication and division going on in this problem. So we should understand how is that going to affect our problems. Well, if I had x to the a times x to the b, that's going to equal x to the a plus b. What that means is if I'm going to multiply two numbers with the same base, and they both have exponents, to solve that, I'm just going to add the exponents. Division works very similar. x raised to a power a divided by x raised to a power b is going to equal x a minus b. And then the last thing I notice is I do have some parentheses in here. And so I have a variable, or I have a, um, an exponent raised to another power. So the power rule tells us if I have x, if I have a variable x to the a raised to the b power, that's simply going to mean x to the a multiplied times b. So when solving this, or when not solving, when we're trying to simplify this problem, we need to look at <clears throat> using PEMDAS first. And that means I need to get rid of these parentheses. So I'm going to use this operation first. So remember, when you have an exponent, that exponent is regarded to refer to every single one of your terms inside your parentheses. So I have b raised to the negative fourth power and a squared raised to the negative fourth power. Well, remember that b can be raised to the first power. So therefore, when actually dividing or multiplying this out, I'll have b to the negative fourth, because 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. And then a to the 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, times 2a to the fourth, divided by negative 2, a to the third, b to the negative third. So now, to simplify this problem, the best way that I want to explain this is I'm going to use my negative exponent rules to put them all on the same, same line where there's no more division somewhere. Because I don't like dividing, I don't like subtracting, I'm, it's much easier for me to multiply and add. So I'm going to use my negative exponent properties to put them all on the same line and then I'll use my multiplication rule to add and subtract and then whatever my answer is, then I'll put the, prop, then I'll put the exponents back where they're supposed to be. So. I can, to put these two up there, they're going to have to change signs, right? Because if they're on the bottom, to put them up, to put them up top, to put them over 1, they're now going to have to change signs. Now, my negative 2, if you notice already, these two, I can't move these. These are two numbers on a division symbol. But, so to get rid of these, I can easily just, actually, let me, I can easily just cancel these out, because that's 2 divided by 2, which is obviously going to be negative 1. So I'll have um, b to the negative fourth, a to the negative eighth. 2 divided by 2 is going to be equal to negative 1. It doesn't matter if it's on the top and bottom, so I'm just going to display that right there. a to the negative eighth, and then I have a to the fourth. Now a to the third up top would be a to the negative third. b to the negative third up top would be b to the third. That's me using my negative exponent rule. Now what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to combine these. I notice that I'm multiplying all these together, and I'm multiplying my two b's. So remember, when you multiply, you're just going to simply add. So I have negative 1 times a to the negative 8 plus 4 plus negative 3. And then b to the negative 4 plus 3. And when you add this up, what you get is negative 1 a to the negative seventh, and b to the negative first. Okay? So now, since I know that these two are negative, I have to put them under one to make them positive. My negative one can remain up top. So my final answer is going to be negative one all over a to the positive seventh, b to the positive first, which you don't need to write, which you can leave like that. So that is how you simplify. It's much easier uh, to make sure you put them all in the same line and then you know, use adding and multiplication. 
But the most important thing is you understand these rules and where to apply them as. There's multiple ways to get to my exact same answer, which is negative 1a to the 7th over b.